guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final three episodes of Banner of the Stars 2. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 8 in 3, 2, 1, go. <clears throat> I'm kind of rushing because I gotta go to work at 1 30, even though it's only 10 23 my time. <laughs> but I was trying to wake up earlier, but I kept falling back to sleep. And then I gotta get, I gotta be up super early tomorrow because I gotta go to work tomorrow as well. Like okay, so I love my new job. I do, I do, I really, really do. This is now officially day four. Um, I do have a little bit of problems with the job though. And I've said this to my uncle last night <laughs> and such, um, which is okay. But at the same, it's so funny because I told him last night, I was like, yeah, um, funny enough. I was like, so we've been working with them for three days now, right? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, it's funny because three days in and I'm already looking for another job. <laughs> and he's like, are you serious? I was like, yeah. I was like, because I'm trying to get to the hospital because, um, Unfortunately, both this job and the first job that I had um, didn't offer me benefits, aka medical, dental, whatever, and such. And so the only one that really truly can, because I'm guessing maybe with this job that I'm working at, I'm guessing you have to be maybe like a year into it, a six, maybe six months to a year with it in order to get the benefits and stuff. Um, but where I want to work... Um, you get it right off the bat. So, your girl's been calling the other place like a fucking day. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I still can't believe we're done with this show, even though this is only episode eight, but still. Excuse me. have to do what you gotta do I know cuz like, and I felt bad for her because she always likes to go into battle and such and playing the opposite role today of being a guard dog it's just like the fuck is this like why am I doing this Well, for now, until maybe either you guys make a move or they make a move.
<laughs> They're probably going to say no to that, though. Right? <laughs> I mean, how I would be dumbfounded as well. First, you asked for six, now you're asking for 24. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to end well. Serious?
That's a good question. I'm so pissed about the fact that they, they can't get him. Like, they're here with the other refugees to save them, but they can't get Jito. So it can be anywhere else on the island. Yeah. Hmm. So now what? How can you be so sure about that, though? See, this is one of the many reasons why I like her. She's very cocky, and she knows her ish. Like, she, she's, once again, this is another bad bitch. She's like, you know what? This is how it's going to go. I demand it's going to go this way. Like, fuck all y'all. Mm-mm. <laughs> it's my way. The fact that she's already so determined that she's not going to get like that. Like, oh, the cockiness. Like, oh, you think some guys are cocky as fuck? But yeah, some women can be very cocky too. And conniving.
this might end with both of these groups dying. Which would be effed up because I really like her and I don't want her to die. I don't want it to be like season one when Lafayette's quote unquote mom died. And I'm like, oh, she's interesting. And then several episodes later, she dies. And it's like, bruh, are you kidding me? Oh, shit. Oh god, that is too fucking close. <laughs> I just want her to stay and look for him. You literally have no way to reach them, though. What are you going to do?
Okay. To be so close to him. And the fact that he woke up. Like, there's gotta be a ship somewhere on the quote-unquote Earth that he can take to get the fuck out. So I will be done by 11.46. Okay. Um, there's gotta be something. There has to be something. They have to reunite before this show ends. Seriously. I mean, there is one more thing from this, but like I said, every single week now, they only want me to do the Indiana Banner 2. Right now, it's not looking good. It's really not looking good. And I did not want to start my Friday out like this. God damn it. I can't even believe that it's Friday today. It feels like it's a day and it's not Friday. But seriously, like, oh, God, he was right there. And he was about to be on the helipad and stuff. And so he would have been fine. But no, like, uh I don't know what he's going to do. I got nothing. I really have nothing for him. Like, I feel like he, whatever he's going to do, because remember, you got, I'm still thinking about what the fuck happened in the first two episodes and such, and the fact that he supposedly dies and stuff. So it's like, okay, now we're getting close to, the, like, the last two shows, shows, episodes of this show. Is it going to end like that? Is Lafayette going to come and find him in time, like, moments before he dies, as we saw, and such, and that's when she's going to take him away? But that's, like, what? Years away! Like, this is too much. Oh my god, I can't do it. I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't imagine coming home from work today and then watching this and being upset. Thank God I'm doing this now. So I have the time to be upset. I just hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I'm already been talking, but I hate this. I, I hate the fact that they can't do anything for him. I really hate the fact because they've been a family or a crew for like since the beginning of the show and such. Really more beginning of Banner 1 going on to Banner 2 and such because Lafayette and Ginto, they've been together since freaking quest and such so you think she would have more of an emotional bringing and connection with him and be like yeah i'm gonna go save him but because of her duties as a captain those come first to her and then saving him is her second priority and i get that but at the same time i'm like girl you care for him you love him maybe not in that way but you love him and you want him to be with you you want to be together with him not in that way once again more like as a friendship and stuff so go fucking get him god damn it but there's so there's so many fucking compliment com complications and such with it but go ahead and pause the video and i will see you guys in one second for episode nine all right episode nine and three two one go
Maybe. I'm going to say one thing, and this is regards to the previous episode. If, 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 if Jinto still had his communicator, instead of them, you know, locating it, thinking that it was him, everything would have been fine. But no, because What's-His-Face really just wanted the women back at the end of the day so that they could have kids and, you know, breed and shit like that. Of course, they're going to use anything by means necessary of, you know... Cutting all ties to Satan Jinto, which sucks because I'm like, bruh, give me my son back so that my kids can hug and be together again. But like, because of the fact is we only have this next episode, which is the finale after this, it makes me wonder and looking back at how this show began to how this show possibly does, possibly will end. This might end on a sad note. Like, this might really, truly end sadly with Jinto dying and Lafayette, you know, continuing on and stuff without him. And it's just like, bro, wh why would you do that? I mean, because it's like, okay, and, and I've talked about this with other shows and stuff. It's not a show when you have, okay, your two big leads and you kill one of them off. And it's like, we're just going to focus on this one person. That's not a show. Trust me. Oh, my. <laughs> Is that somebody's Scarlet? Okay. Well, that's weird. But, yeah, that's not a show. But you learn. Mm -hmm. So, of course, she did die. It's fucked up. <laughs> mm hmm No, babe, I don't think everyone's blaming me. Maybe some, but not all. I am too, because how the fuck is he gonna get out?
true. Because there's nothing else that can be reversed about it now. There you are. Mm-hmm. Okay, come on. If you want to sneeze, just come on, damn it. Because, like, <laughs> I hate when this happens. Right.
<laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't even know if that's supposed to be a shade or not, but that was so cute. <laughs> Basically, yes. <laughs> oh. 
<clears throat> I shouldn't be sleepy, but I am. I will go back to bed, but I can't. I have a gel like cats now. Only because of Chinto from the Ajo. Mm hmm. Oh, that's like me after my dogs passed away. I was like, I'm never getting another dog. And now look, I got another dog. And it's worse because he looks like Yanni Kiana every day. He acts like them every day. Basically, a little bit of both. I don't even know what to say about this. Like, th this was a very interesting episode for a second to last episode for finale. I hate the fact that you know how almost everybody is talking about him like he's dead. And then you see him. And you see that he isn't dead. And he's trying his best to survive. And then you have this. It's showing, like, all their adventures and shit. And it's like, oh my god. Ah, uh, I just, I wish, I wish, like, there's some little hope, little, little glimmer, something. Just give it to me. This last episode, they're able to see each other one last time if he passes away and such. Like, who knows how this is going to end straight up. Like, I mean, I could be wrong about what happened in the first episode of this, but who knows? Like, ah, uh, this is too much. They would show this part right here. Like, stop it! <laughs> oh. 
Like, it's only been, like, what? It has to be at least a couple of days, right? So, he's been going around with no food, no water, nothing. (laughs) God, like, I want to die. I want to die. I want to die because of this. This is so fucked up. This is like freaking Banner 1 all over again and how that ended. <sighs> and how that ish ended and I was thinking, oh my god, these two are about to die possibly. And then they didn't die and I was like, woo, thank god, I'm like yes! But especially they're, like the way they just showed this last little preview because that's it. They're only going to show that bit. Just how they ended Banner 1. He might really die this time, though. But who knows? I mean, really, once again, I have nothing else to say about this. But, I mean, it was nice to have, like, one person, what's her face, to, like, think, okay, you know, at first she didn't like cats. After having a cat and playing with it every single day to the point where a cat gets old and eventually a cat passes away. And the day when the cat passed away, she looked for it and looked for it until someone told her the cat had passed away. And after that, she didn't want to see another cat again. She didn't want to deal with having a pet and stuff. Having a pet, it's just, it's a big responsibility, one, because they are your baby and such. And so, um, when they pass away, it's really hard to get used to being on your own again. And so, I think for me, I can still relate to that, like, especially because both of my dogs, like, passed away like almost a month between each other and such and so we had just moved from one place to another and my first dog she passed away of a broken heart because her younger sister passed away first we had to put her down and I'm trying not to cry I'm not gonna cry um And so, like, the little things, either hearing them walk around, like, the pitter-platter of their feet walking on, like, the tile floors or anything, hearing them eat or hearing them drink or you're just hearing them walk around the house and such. Like, with Cody, Cody has a leash on and a collar and everything, right? Well, he has a collar and has a snake tag and stuff. And you can hear that no matter what. Um, And so, when you're, when they're gone and it's just you, it's... It feels empty. You feel empty. And so, of course, like, she feels like that. Lafayette feels like that. I think everybody feels like that because the fact is someone from their group is not here. And they're trying to do everything to get them back. And it's like, okay, we got one episode left. Can you get him back in less than 25 minutes? I think not. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for the final episode. Alright, final episode in three, two, one, go. Finish in the blank. Damn it. Yeah, you still drink it even though you can't. Ah! Yeah, but that could get you killed.
Those weren't leeches, were they? He just knows he's not gonna make it! I don't wanna watch this. Three weeks later! Oh, he's dead. Yeah, but not the dead bodies, though. They destroyed the shit out of that in three weeks. Then at least let her get changed. Of course.
You have to answer that question on your own. <laughs> well, we found a woman. Great. That's not Dinta. Exactly, there's so many unanswered questions. Or maybe every corpse the corpse that we see gets a popper burial cause shit. Woo Yes. Right? Because she could be talking out of her ass.
No, you heard something. Oh, uh, they're taking a long ass time. There's eight minutes left. Hold up. No, 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 That gives me nothing and everything at the same time. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do final thoughts because that really leaves it up in the air if he's now alive or dead or some shit. Okay. So honestly, out of the three, I think this one, all three were interesting, but just like the way this ends and stuff like oh my god but the story of these two was a very interesting series i think this series is really really good i mean you know at first i thought i was not gonna like this but in the end i really did enjoy this i probably end up buying this on the like blu-ray and shit just to have it as like a collection and stuff because it was really enjoyable it is a little confusing at times and such but I really did personally enjoy this a lot. The story was interesting. The characters were interesting. The premise, everything. Their adventures that they had to go on. It, it was a little surprising to see actually one woman um, still at this island and such. Because all the women were supposed to be gone. So you telling me this one woman decided to stay with her husband because of the fact that she'd rather be with him them being separated, I get that because, you know, love and such. But he died, and, and then you don't know if what she was saying was the truth or anything, but in the end, she was telling the truth and such. But I just, oh my god, my heart. And then, like, okay, it, it was worse because of the fact is, our, they showed the other, like, other people who are on this ship the office. and then I thought they were gonna show Diaho and I was just like oh my god if they show him if they show the cat if they show the cat 
this is gonna hurt. Like, I was like, oh god, oh god, oh god. And then it was worse when they, like, they're showing the same place where the rest of the soldiers went in, and she's staying in the car. And all you hear is her breathing. And I'm thinking she's crying at the same time. Like, she's breathing and crying. And just that one little glimmer of hope. You're, like, praying to God that he's going to be okay. But th there's still, like, there's, like, there's like five minutes left. Five! It's just you, you would end, up like, her saying, fool. But it was a really good story. It really was. And I hate the fact that I'm done with this. Because I really personally enjoyed this a lot. I know. No, no, I mean, you got a little fat, too. Uh, oh, there he goes. Aww. Maybe you could bring her as well. Yeah, her life. Fuck you. But the fact that he is okay and they together again, like ah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, honey. But still, she wants to look after you, so just let her. Oh, my God, stop being hard at it.
<laughs> so that's oh my god. So that's what he kept seeing. That, that blah, 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 I can't speak. Oh my gosh! Just that emotion and that dream, or like quote unquote prediction of them being together and such. It's so fucking cute. They'll see no matter what. They're always gonna be together. They always come back to each other, and that's what I really personally loved about their relationship and their friendship and their bond. That no matter what, through thick and thin, these two will always make their way back to each other. Of course, I would like to see what the heck could possibly happen next for these two. But as I've said time and time before, of course, we're ending it here. But this show was really good. From the beginning up to its middle season to its final season, it really, the angst and the, you know, situations that they had to had to go through was better and better every single episode. I do kind of wish that with certain characters from like maybe Crest got a little, got to be in either Banner 1 or Banner 2. Like, okay, the one chick who um who was a maid who worked for that one dude who Lafayette killed. I thought she was going to come back either between Banner 1 or Banner 2. She didn't make an appearance. She made like one little appearance in the first episode for Banner 1 and then that was it. We never really saw her or those rest of those girls again and such. There's a lot of very much unanswered questions with this show and of course like it seems like you have to go and look at source material and everything because even though I know nothing at the same time I would like to know a lot. But yeah, I really enjoyed this show a lot. I will miss it, but of course we have to move on. So I'm going to go ahead and say this because this is also going to be repeated when the Patreons get this tomorrow. So this is what we're going to do next. I already have my next show for specifically Bakuman, but for right now I, I'm going to just continue on with both Bakuman and blue reflection ray up until Bakuman is over and then after Bakuman is over the person who also requested Bakuman has something else so after that I'll be doing that show next and then I'll be continuing with just those two um up until I finish them both and then probably after that I'll go into probably taking three shows or another two shows so I'm not really 100% sure yet on what I'm personally personally going to do about reacting to certain Patreon shows because, you know, now having a job and now I'm working like five days a week and I only really get two days off. Um, it's a little hard for me to get my scheduling down and such. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the uh, towards the entire series of Crest of the Stars, Banner of the Stars 1, and Banner of the Stars 2. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons. And next, pro mm, well, whenever. That's all I can really say. The next time for the next Patreon show. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.